I made some hot chocolate bombs using the fill and seal method and this is how I did it. You're gonna want some hot cocoa mix. I used the Ghirardelli chocolate melting wafers and you're gonna also need a silicone mold and some marshmallows. To do this method, it's much easier if you use little individual cups. So I went ahead and cut up my silicone mold into individual pieces and set them in a mini muffin tin to stabilize them. Once your chocolate wafers are nice and warm, you're gonna stir them up so that they're nice and smooth, and then you can start filling your cups. I used a spoon to start with, but I found that that was really slow, so I switched to using a ladle. It was much easier to fill them if I had more chocolate melts in the bowl. So I went ahead and added another bag after this, and that made it much easier to scoop it out so I wasn't constantly having to scrape it up from the bottom. Once all of your molds are full, you're going to let them sit for about five minutes to start to harden up around the edges a little bit. And then you're going to dump them out and use an offset spatula or a knife to scrape off the edges to make sure they're nice and neat. And you can repeat this with all of them. And once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and pop them into a freezer for about five minutes. While that's going on, you can go ahead and heat up your electric griddle. I turned it on the warm setting at first and I found that that was actually a little bit too warm. So I turned the heat about halfway down between the warm setting and the off setting and found that that worked a lot better. They just pop out super easily. As you can see, I kind of loosen up the edges a little bit and then push up through the bottom and it pops it out. My kids loved helping out with this and it was a lot of fun. Once you had them all popped out, you're going to fill the bottom half with about a tablespoon of hot cocoa mix and top with some marshmallows. Here you can see I kind of left that chocolate melt on there. I found that that melted too much and it actually made my circles a little too flat looking. So you want to go ahead and just do it for just a second just to soften the edges and then smush them together to glue. Be sure your drizzling chocolate is not too warm or it will melt your bombs. I found that out the hard way. So you want to make sure it's at room temperature but still smooth. And here you can see us testing it out. This was so fun. My kids got such a kick out of this. They were all ooing and aahing as the chocolate melted and all those marshmallows popped out. It'd be really great if you had a bigger mold. My mold was a two and a half inch mold. And I think with a larger mold, you could fit a lot more marshmallows and it would be an even greater effect. We used one and one quarters cup of hot milk to go along with this. And I thought it was a perfect ratio of milk to chocolate. This was such a fun activity to do with the kids. I hope you'll give it a shot and make it a new Christmas tradition.